Hey, how's it going everybody? Sarasota Tim! I have to show you, we caught the bridge here on Ocean Avenue leaving the Boynton Inlet. This house, uh, if I can uh, get my sunroof open real quick and show you. Uh, I was watching them build this one and the one next door. Uh, this is what it looks like. Uh, these were built in the last, I don't know, three, four months. And the one over here. And there's another one on the left right up here I'll show you. But, this, oh, that one actually I never knew about. It's these, it's, it's, it's actually none of those. It's these two down here that I'm thinking of. This one. Those two, yes, those as well. And then this guy right here, he won't sell. They want him out. But look at, look at what they've uh, built right here. They're still working on that one. But look at this. Oh, they're still working on it. All right, I spoke too soon. These are all new. The reason it takes so long is because they are custom homes. And a lot of the granite and tile and carpentry finishing work isn't done by general contractor labor. These are specialists that come in that uh, they wait for materials to come from overseas. They've got specialists that are building them and, uh, you know, do certain things. Uh, people are really nuts. Here's the banana boat and the two Georges uh, down there, the ocean uh, waterfront restaurants and the uh, drift fishing boat area, jet ski rentals and the Boynton Towers there. I watched them build. And this is Ocean Avenue and Federal Highway. Right around the corner from Bud's Fried Chicken. Or Bud's Chicken, I should just say. These are a new build here within the last few years. But we actually just uh, stopped and looked at an apartment. Get this, folks. 550 square feet. I have a video on these apartments, on the two bedrooms, the three, and the one bedrooms. And we were driving by, and it still looked kind of empty, but I saw a lady walking by. And we stopped and asked her about it, and she happens to be the uh, property manager there that's uh, trying to rent them out. And she was kind enough uh, to let us walk in and take a look. And so we did. And I uh, got some numbers from her. Uh, she didn't uh, want me to video them because someone's coming later today uh, that's probably going to move forward on that unit. But anyway, uh, for whatever reason, they were, uh, they're 550 square feet, they're one bedrooms. One was renovated with a, uh, a new modern step-in shower. But I'm talking, you know what 550 square feet is, right? <laughs> It's just a little wider than an RV, but not a whole lot more room. Uh, and they were $2,300 a month. And they want long-term tenants. It is not a seasonal or an Airbnb. It's a building that I think it switched hands in the last couple of years because it stayed vacant for so long with, um, with nobody going in there. And construction kind of stopped. But uh, the nice lady was telling me that the owners of this building actually have another property in uh, Palm, um, um, Palm City up near Stewart, Florida, that they just bought developers, investors, and they haven't renovated it yet. But anyway, we looked at two one bedrooms and the one one bedroom was not updated as they say it was updated maybe 10 years ago so it had granite countertops and and things but it wasn't the newer floor and the all-white cabinets but we, when we went in we were expecting which he said this one's going to be two grand or 2100 it's only like 200 dollars a month difference uh, we were expecting a really much older neither had washer and dryer and uh, what else? Uh, the, the second one that was cheaper did not have a dishwasher. So the one that was more modern had a different floor and a dishwasher. And the uh, bathroom was updated because it had 
the fancy walk-in shower. So the other one had a tub, which is not, we're not opposed to that. And it did not have a dishwasher. That's no big deal. We never used it. It was the one we had before. And the floor was a tile floor that looked just fine. It had the same aluminum stainless uh, fridge. But neither one had washer and dryer in the unit. But they had a nice pool. Uh, the building had to be built in the 50s. It's, it probably was an old motel at one time. But that's the kind of money they want. It was basically $2,100 a month for the least expensive one. And they wanted that times three uh, to move in. So you're looking at over $6,000, which, you know, you could put down on a place. I know you need more, but I mean, basically, it's a lot of money. And so we, uh, we got the information and we're thinking about it. And I think we thought about it enough <laughs> because that's about, I don't know, probably $600 more a month than I think the most we would even consider today. We're somewhere right around 15, 1700 a month. If we absolutely found something that had a second bath or a half bath, it had amenities and it was just updated beautifully and it was just had a wow factor. That would be the only way. But of course, you know, I realize what a lot of you are thinking that you're not going to find anything like that. They want that for a, for a dive. And that may be so. It may require, you know, living in a different city or state or uh, planet. <laughs> I don't know. But maybe something will happen after the election. I know a lot of people say that. Even the young lady said that. That a lot of people that are looking, that she's shown it to, have said that, you know, maybe some things are going to change soon. No one has a crystal ball. But it can't last forever. Eventually, this market is going to crush. <laughs>